All right, guys, so we are here with a news update. I know I'm a little bit late because of daylight saving times. Um, I essentially don't get the news updates right away. Uh, the JP always goes and does it at the same exact time, regardless of DST. So I was unable to get this to you like two or three hours ago when it's actually dropped. But we're over here on the Twitter for Dokkan Battle, and we're going to go ahead and talk about the new card. Yes, we do have a new Kefla card that is out. Uh, really cool card, really nice artwork. A little bit odd, you know, it's it's weird because once she did fuse this past Sunday, um, or Saturday night technically, uh, she, it looks like she's longer than she should be. It's weird, I don't know, maybe it's just me guys, but I, I think she looks a little bit longer than she actually should be in terms of a character, but she's here, she is a Batara Fusion Leader, which is very interesting to say the least. Uh, we're going to talk about that, but we're going to go ahead and talk about the card itself. So first off, shout out to Dokkan underscore official. Go ahead over here, follow them on Twitter, enable notifications. This is everything JP Dokkan battle that you need to know. Uh, if you have a Twitter account, it's good to follow them because they will do certain things. Like, you know how if we do the, the Facebook thing on Global where we do a lot of likes and share campaign. They do something very similar on Twitter, so go ahead and do that. Plus, they give you all the actual news updates on Twitter. Anyway, with that being said, also shout out to the Reddit. Um, shout out to the post over here by Jackson, Jackson Simmons and to Goresh for the translations. So um, over, also go over here to the Reddit, create an account, and follow the Reddit. <laughs> uh, the information, SSR Kefla, the fused warrior with a deep bond. Leader ability is Potara category units, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 120% up. So that's really interesting, let's just stop right there. First off, Potara category, there are very limited units that have that ability uh very interesting we're gonna go ahead and zoom in over here while we're doing the translation just to make it bigger on your screen um uh, very very interesting that that is the leader the actual leader ability uh, i think it's cool don't get me wrong uh it's just that because it's very limited in terms of who you can utilize it does make it a little bit more difficult to create a team unless you literally have all the good units and that also means there's going to be a lack of units that you can run on the team uh, on top of that, it's not like she's a physical unit, so it's not like she's also giving physical buffs. But at the same time, it's kind of looking like due to her team cost, it kind of looks as if she is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, which A, is cool because it means you can pull her on other banners because she'll probably be a non-primary you know, uh, non -primary unit or non-Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. Um, at the same time, uh, it also means that she's not going to have all the buffs that you would preferably want on a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Anyway, her super attack is Gigantic Blast. Causes immense damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense, which is cool. Passive skill changes intelligence key orbs to physical key orbs, which is cool for a physical team. So if you have LR Ginyu on the JP side or LR Trunks, that definitely helps out. Attack and defense, plus 10% up per key sphere obtained. Uh, medium chance to dodge enemy attacks, guaranteed to get an additional attack, and medium chance for that, that additional attack to be a super attack. So they what they did... With the passive skill, by the way, this is the first time that I'm reading this, so uh, I, I'm I'm just reading this live, so I'm, I'm making my decisions based off of uh, on the spot, you know, snap judgments off of this. Uh, attack and defense plus 10% up per key per physical key orb obtained. Not a big fan of that, uh, just because it's a pain in the butt. You typically will only get six key orbs. She does change intelligence, a type to type, which is awesome. I do like that. That is one of my favorite. Key orb manipulators, because there's three different types. You have type to rainbow, rainbow to type, and then type to type. Type to type is my favorite. Uh, so that's awesome. That means she's definitely going to be helping herself out. Even if she gets up to, like, let's say, 8 with, with that orb changer ability, that's, that is only an 80% modifier. It is cool, though, because it's immense. So immense with an 80% modifier is not horrible. She also becomes a tank because of that, uh, assuming that, you know, it, it's, it gets up large enough. Um, she has Khalifla's chance to dodge which is awesome and she has Kel's guaranteed to get an additional attack which is awesome the, the fact that it's medium chance to give her an additional they tried to uh, essentially take the two cards the physical Kel and the agility clearly flipped and mix them together which is, I do like that don't get me wrong I like it it's just it's an interesting dynamic I would like to see how viable this card is in game to be utilized to take that also into consideration she is a super saiyan um, so that also means that she will run well on a, um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks team. Well, not well, but we, I don't think she's going to be a primary unit for a monophysical team or an optimal unit if you are looking in terms of damage output. 
we'd have to see how she plays on top of what other cards you run. Obviously, you could run a team around her if you want to, especially if you really like her. That would be cool, but outside of that, I don't know how viable she will be on a team. Uh, she does have a really nice passive skill, though. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Fused Fighter, Power Bestowed by God, Warriors Universe 6, Tournament of Power. She's part of the Patara category, Peppy Gals, and Universal or Universe Survival Arc. Now, Power Bestowed by God. Very, very interesting. So, let me just start off by saying uh, she has some all right Link skills, Super Saiyan, Fused Fighter. Um, are really the only two that I can think of actually that are decent link skills. So she only has 10% buff and fused fighter buff. Power bestowed by God is still a flat out buff to my knowledge on the JP side. Um, Warriors of Universe 6 is definitely not common. Um, obviously with us having the Tournament of Power um, or the Survival Arc running right now, we will probably get more Universe 6 Warriors and Tournament of Power Warriors, which will be cool. You, you know, you, it's probably going to be decent, especially since they have their own arc. Uh, it's just that unless you're running that specific team, these two link skills are utterly useless. Uh, again, the old meta of mono teams is definitely gone, so it, it could benefit you in the future. We'll have to wait and see how it goes, especially how this arc turns out on Dragon Ball Super, and how much further Dragon Ball Super goes. But uh, overall, it will probably be fine. Uh, we just need to see how viable it's going to be. Mono teams definitely not, because there's not enough on a mono team for these link skills to be viable with. Um, at least in my opinion. Anyway, with that being said, she has Power Bestowed by God. Now, it's Patara Fusion, but Patara Fusion could potentially mean that anyone with the Link skill Power Bestowed by God, and this has been talked about on the Reddit. I've seen posts up in the Reddit about that, or at least comments within the Reddit post speculating that maybe it's going to be Power Bestowed by God. Um, I've seen some Facebook posts about it. Some people are nay on it. Some people are for it. If you think that it's going to be based off of the Link skill Power Bestowed by God, or at least... Uh, cards or, un or people in universe in the dragon ball universe that have dealt with the kais and have been received training like for instance trunks future trunks in the future trunks tr timeline in dragon ball super received training from the kais and trained on the world of the kais technically wasn't power bestowed by god but i mean they could make a card that technically fits that you know ability i guess uh, and that's a stretch i know it is a stretch so don't you know you call me out if you want to in the comments below but uh, it could potentially be something but if that's what they're going to do, that would definitely open it up to be a lot more viable for team building for Patara category. Uh, and again, it's just, you know, it's what it's uh, called. Anyway, um, it has not been updated in-game yet, as you see over here from dbz.space. Uh, the category has not been made available in-game. When it is made available, I will do a full in-depth analysis of all the cards. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here so you can get that information. Um, let's go ahead and take a look Power Bestowed by God. So if they happen to do Power Bestowed by God, uh, obviously, you have the Vegitos. Um, Ultimate Gohan has that, so Ultimate Gohan will be part of that. Um, you have Zamasu, who is part of that. Now, these are the TURs. Uh, you have Vegito Blue. Uh, this is the other Super Vegito over here. So these are just split up by uh, attribute types. So, you know, you will be able to create a pretty nice team, especially physical if, if it is that. Um, physical units, because you do have Ultimate Gohan, it would be nice to bring him back into being more a little bit more viable. Obviously, you could run, you would want to run him on a different team if you want to make him more viable again. But Patara Fusion, if Power Bestowed by God is a thing, uh, it would just be nice to have him there for that uh, ability. Especially because this looks like a subunit for this mini uh, category, there may be a primary Dokkan exclusive that comes out in the future. Uh, regardless of that, let me go down to the SSRs. Candy Vegito would be freaking hilarious to have him on there. He probably will be because he's a fusion character. It's cool. He dodges everything. So, I, you know, that would just be hilarious to have such an amazing attack buff stacked on top of this little candy. <laughs> uh, so that's a thing. Um, Zamasu, again, as I had stated. And then if we go down here, obviously we have Kabito Kai, which is the fusion of Kabito and the Supreme Kai. Uh, outside of that, I mean, that's all that's really available. Uh, if they don't do Power Bestowed by God, we're kind of in a limited... Um, thing over here. Uh, so I just brought up the Zamasu's over here for what I want to talk about. So we have Super Vegito. So Super Vegito is one character that you would have in the Patara Fusion outside of Kefla. Uh, so we have Super Vegito, Infinite Radiance, if that's going to be the one you pick. You also have the Agility one. Uh, so that's one card, plus two for the leader ability. Uh, so we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, which is three. So we have three, and these are good units, don't get me wrong. Uh, support is, let's we'll call it the Tech Vegito because he is base form. I'm just doing one of each type. Uh, so that's four units so far. Um, if Gohan gets it, potentially, um, I, I'm not going to really, you know, hold him there to this. 
Uh, so we'll see what happens. So that's, that's we're still on four technically. I, I should, should not have him there. Uh, Kibito Kai would be five, and then six would be merged of a fusion Zamasu. So literally, you only at least at this time in the game, you only have enough units to run this team if you have all the units. So uh, so K Kefla, um, Kefla, Vegito, uh, v Blue Vegito, right? Kefla Vegito, Blue Vegito. Uh, base Vegito, uh, Kibito Kai, and Merge or Fusion Zamasu, and th potentially Candy Vegito, which you would probably want to sub out with from Kibito Kai because Kibito Kai isn't really that great. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. There's literally maybe six at most, seven at most, I believe it is actually, including Candy Vegito and Kibito Kai. So there's really not that much you can do for a team, but. We'll wait, we'll see what happens. Again, when it becomes available, I'll let you know if it is power bestowed by God, that would be great. All right, now real quick, before we get out of here, uh, I did want to display her super attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that video right now. Um, I already watched it, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this for you. Alright, so very interesting. One thing I did want to note, well first of all let me just say, uh, her super attack is way too freaking long. It's it's obnoxiously long, honestly. That's, that's just my opinion on the matter. I think her super attack's ridiculous, I think it needs to be calmed down a little bit, especially for non Dokun Fest exclusive and not an LR. Uh, but one thing I wanted to say, um, did anyone else notice that Rosé is here? Super Saiyan Rosé, you know what, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more uh, on my screen. Uh, I know it's probably going to get a little bit blurry here, sorry about that, I apologize. Uh, but look down over here uh, at the team. So we can go ahead and see over here, you have Super Vegito, which is normal. Uh, we have Vegito Blue, we have Candy Vegito, so Candy Vegito looks to be part of it. Um, this is the physical one that we already know about. Uh, this is her, and this looks like, so it's a double category lead on her side, because it's starting off with four key, right? So that means Rosé's part of this. Or at least he should be. It makes sense, right? So why is Rosé part of this? That's so that's so interesting. Hold on, let's go ahead and... and Alright, so I just have to zoom out a little bit for you guys. Um, so that means Rosé's part of this, which is very interesting as well. And if Rosé is part of this... Let's go over here to the... To, let's see. Um, or Super Saiyan Rosé, Goku Black. That means all the Goku Blacks are... That means LR Black is part of this as well. But maybe it just means godly beings as well. Um, maybe part of the godly dimension? Could that possibly be? He doesn't have power power bestowed by God. That, it's just very interesting. This raises so many questions. So many questions this raises. I mean, if it's godly dimension, that means UI Goku would be in it. That doesn't make sense to have UI Goku in it. You know, like, what's going on? I don't know. I have no idea. Again, speculation. Um, it is inside of the super attack animation, and he does have the buffs from there, it looks like. So, it means Rosé's probably going to be part of it, which, okay, I'm not upset about that. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that is the information there. I hope this was, uh, good for you. Uh, let me know if you, what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Let me know who you think is going to be part of this category while we're still waiting for that information to come out. And, um, yeah, I will catch you guys later. I'm working on the world tournament. I'm trying to get my last 10 dragon stones so that way I can get those for the, uh, possible intelligence Gogeta and Genema banner that'll be around the corner. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you all later.